Hi guys, uh, welcome to lesson two now of this series on AWS Data Lakes and Lake Formation. I'm Johnny Chivers, I'm a full-time data engineer during the day and at night I like nothing better than making AWS videos in my spare time to help pass on that knowledge that I've built up. In our previous lesson we created our S3 bucket and we registered it as our data lake and lake formation. This lesson goes and builds upon that so if you haven't done lesson one please go back and look at it. In this lesson, we're going to do our first ingest using AWS. We're just going to ingest the file. We're going to use the console for speed, but I'll explain other methods of getting files into AWS um, that you can integrate inside your company. Once that file's been ingested into our S3 bucket, we're going to create a glue crawler. That crawler is going to run over that data and infer the schema. It'll then register that with the AWS glue data catalog, and then that will become our meta store uh, for our data. So, a bit of theory. What is a glue crawler? A glue crawler is an automated tool that AWS provide that runs over our data and infers the schema. Once that schema has been inferred, it's then registered with the glue data catalog. The AWS glue data catalog is a meta store of information about the underlying held data, such as table names, columns, schemas, types. The glue data catalog then allows us to control access to our underlying data through leak formation. That's a bit enough from the theory side for now. Let's just get straight in. Let's get this data in and let's get it registered on the console. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to lesson two, where we're going to look at the glue data catalog and ingest some data. In our last lesson, we created this lake formation admin user that I'm currently signed in. So that's key. Make sure you're not carrying out any of these tasks as the root user. It won't have the ability to in your AWS account. If you haven't um, looked at video one or you haven't got your own user, Go back and take a look and then we can pick up from here. So today we're going to take a look at the data catalog and the ingest. So let's go back into lake formation just quickly. Let's just check that our lake location is still present. There's our lake location. And then in terms of admin rights, our user still has admin rights. Perfect. First thing we need to do is get some data. I will put a link in the bottom of this video description to GitHub. That GitHub will have this file that I'm about to upload you too can upload the same file and then follow along. So we're inside bronze. And the first thing I want to do is create a new folder. And this will be our ingest folder. So we're going to call this ingest. Let's create that folder. Let's go down one more level and let's create another folder. And we're just going to call this batch person. So batch ingests are not real time streams. This is where you group data together and do it on a periodic load. In this example, I'm going to use a CSV file that I've created. And we'll just create that folder now and then we'll upload to it so again link in the description follow it to get the folder or the file that you need and that should be you so i'm just going to open it it's quite a small file it's not going to cost us lots of money to use either so it's perfect for these kind of demos where you know we want to want to keep cost to a minimum that's it uploaded perfect so now we have our file and it's sitting in our s3 bucket but we don't have a table over it we don't have a database to put it in. We don't have anything set up yet um, to be used with our glue data catalog. So let's go back into lake formation. AWS lake formation. Let's go to databases. So as I said, we haven't we haven't done anything yet. So let's create a database. And again, just reiterate, and as that admin user, database user, we're going to call this the ingest database. So the ingest database, as you guessed, is going to sit over that ingest folder in S3. So it's going to sit over this bucket or this bucket partition and over that folder. So I'll just show you really quickly because you need to make that link in your head between the database and the folder location or else things don't work. So we're inside bronze and then this ingest folder. So everything that we ever create down here will be a table and that ingest folder itself where I currently am. We're going up this ingest folder will be a database so a database is a logical collection of tables in this case we're calling the database ingest and all the tables below that will be related to data that we ingest simple so there's ingest next thing we need to do is give it the bucket location so bronze yep and then ingest select and we'll give it a little description this is the ingest database in the bronze layer stroke zone and we'll leave it as it is creates a database so that's the database 
but it doesn't have any tables. Now, what we want to do is create this batch person as a table. And to do that, we use a thing called a crawler. Now, a crawler is provided by AWS. We set it up. It's going to go into the ingest database in the, in the location that we tell it. It's going to crawl our data and say, hey, you have data here. I think we should make a table out of this. And that table will be automatically created for us. So let's go to the crawler. Now this is a wee bit involved, but just bear with me. So let's add a crawler. That's called the crawler ingest batch. Makes sense. We're going to ingest the batch table. Next. We're going to use the data store and we want to crawl all folders. We won't get into too much depth what that means. Specify path in my account. Let's go to the path in my bucket, in my bronze bucket, in ingest. And that batch person is what we want. Next. Add another data store. No. This is going to be the service role that we create. So let's call this one batch ingest bronze person. Batch ingest bronze person. Okay. Next. Run on demand. Next. Database is the ingest database that we just created. And we're going to go next. And we're going to finish. This will take a little second. Okay. If I was to run this crawler now, it actually doesn't have the permissions to look inside this S3 bucket. So fundamentally, the whole point of leak formation is to control access to data that we register. So as we've registered that S3 bucket as a location, and we've given a role to that crawler, which is this role here. It needs to have leak formation permissions given to it to go read the data or else it will fail. So to do that, we have to go into data permissions. And what we need to do is grant the permission. Now, because I'm in this account, uh, the leak formation admin user account, I have permissions to grant other roles and users access. So let's take this name so we have it. Back into lake formation. Let's go find that guy. What do we want to do? Ingest. And we're just going to give it all the permissions in the ingest database. And it won't be allowed to give it to anyone else. So what we're saying here, all tables as well, sorry, is that for the service rule that we want to crawl with, in the ingest database, let's see all the tables and then let it do whatever it needs to those tables. And we just want to grant that permission. Cool. Now, if I just take off all of that and we have a little look, you should be able to see that that role has the ability to do everything inside um, that database, so in all tables. Alrighty. Let's go back on to the, to the crawler. Let's go back to crawlers just so we know what we're doing. Let's select it and let's go run crawler. This will take about 30 or 40 seconds. I'm going to pause the video here and we can pick it up once it's complete. Okay, guys, as you can see, that's completed. It took about a minute in total between starting, running, and shutting back down, even though the run time was 45, 44 seconds. As you can see, we have one table added, and that's exactly what we want. So we can use the glue data catalog here at the side to view that table, or we can go back to lake formation. So let's go back to lake formation. Let's go to databases, let's click on ingest. And we should be able then when we go into tables to see the batch table in the ingest exists. Fantastic. Now the glue console gives you a little bit more information. So let's go back on to it. Let's go databases. Let's go ingest. Tables and ingest. Batch person. Let's click on it. And you can see that it's actually picked up first name, last name, ID and IP, which is exactly how that file looks. Okay, guys, so that's the table created inside the database. The data's been ingested, and we're at that point now where we're going to have to give access to the data, and we want to see it. We're going to cover that in the next lesson. So that's everything then for today. I've been Johnny Chivers. I'll make all this information for free, as usual, on my website, www.johnnychivers.co.uk. And until next time, thanks for watching.